G-L-E-S. Eagles! Eagles! Say fly, eagles, fly. Fly, eagles, fly. Fly, eagles, fly. <laughs>
the schemes are not good enough. Do you know that Carson Wentz was top five and uh, top three in third down conversions because of the schemes and because of him rolling out and making plays with his legs, with his coaches not giving him opportunity? Do you know that Carson Wentz was number three in the red zone for the last three years? That's because the ball was coming out of his hands fast. It was better routes. Guys was catching the football. But yet and still, everybody's looking at Carson Wentz. Everybody's saying that Carson Wentz is doing this and doing that. Gib, I'm not saying he's playing good. But for you to think that Jalen Hurts is going to do something, what do you what do you think that Jalen Hurts is going to do? That Carson Wentz is not. It's, we're going to turn into a, a Lamar Jackson type of team, and we're not that type of team. We're going to turn to run the football, run the football with your quarterback. That's not who we are. That's not who we are. So before everybody keep trying to get on this train, it, it, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, you don't know football if you think that, that, that Jalen Hurts is going to come on the Philadelphia Eagle football team and lead the team and do better than Carson Wentz. Especially with this play calling, with this scheme, and with this offensive line. Now you want to talk about, see, a dude like Max Kellerman, who knows nothing about football, yes, knows nothing about football, pisses me off so much. You know what he said earlier? He said that Carson Wentz is having the worst fifth year season and like he'd never seen before. These are untrue. Because you want to know who had who had bad. Well, this was his fourth season. But Ben, he had 18 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. And in, in Peyton Manning's fifth season, he had 23 touchdowns, 26 touchdowns, 23 interceptions. So don't come on here telling me that nobody else is just throwing picks in a fifth year. You're still a developing quarterback. You still are developing. And, and once again, what people don't understand and what people don't get is the play calling. I will show you one right now. Look at this. What is Jalen Hurst doing? Why is he even in the play? He's basically playing like, 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 um, like Carson Wentz. What is that? What kind of play is that? Can one of y'all tell me? Because I can't. This is the things that I'm talking about. This is why this team isn't flourishing also. It's not just the quarterback, man, because I seen him at his heights. I seen him at his heights. You cannot tell me what I seen in 2017 and what I seen last year was a flash in the pan. It ain't. Something is going on. It's probably too many people in his head. I don't know. I don't know if... Morning Wig is telling him the one thing, then Richie Rich is telling him another thing, then Doug is telling him another thing, and then now Josh McCown is gone. The guy who I wanted just to, for him to be on, on, on Carson Wentz's sideline, on, on his side, you know what I mean, right there, that's, it looked like that's who we had in 2019. And in 2017, he had Frank Wright or, or John Filippo in his ear. I don't think he has none of that now. When you look at it, man, like I said, Josh McCown is going now. He was picked up off the practice squad. He should have been protected. Picked up off the practice squad, and now he's at the Texans. I would have brought him as a, and, and as a coach. I don't know if he wanted to do that. I don't know. But that's what I would have did. I would have made sure, because when Carson Wentz comes off the field, I'm going to keep saying this, he has no one to talk to. And then he gets to go out there with his reckless behavior. In 2017, he had the same reckless behavior? But he had a guy like uh, John Filippo just sitting down during the game like, yo, bro, you tripping. A guy like Frank Wright to say, this is what you need to be seeing. This is what should happen. This is what you should do when this happens. He has none of that. He has Nate Sutfeld, man. And once again, I'm going to keep telling y'all, it's only his fifth year. You are still a development player at your fifth year. But because he's getting $100 million, everybody looking at him like he just needs to be uh, he man or something. No, nah, man. No, nah, I'm disgusted at some of this fan base. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Now, if you claim, oh, I, I don't know football, and I just see the, I just see these stats, and I'm not liking what I see, and I think that the next quarterback up should be that guy. All right, cool. 
And then I will have a talk with you. I will sit here. I will tell you why you're wrong. And I will tell. But for you to come on my channel and for you to comment and saying, bro, look at this and look at that. And, and, and you don't know what the heck you're talking about. I'm going to call you out every single time. Stop DMing me with this with this stuff with these stats and this nonsense and you and you don't have no stats on Doug Peterson. You don't want to talk about the, the, the misuse of clock. You don't want to talk about the misuse of timeouts. You don't want to talk about his fourth down, his fourth down plays. He is holding his team back. Yes, he is. Listen, man. That's really all I got for today. I usually do my um I usually do my, uh, my, my, my weekly picks. Um, I'm going to do them tomorrow. I don't know who's playing today. I'm not sure, but I use, like I said, I usually do my weekly picks, man. I'll probably do that tomorrow, man. Ain't going to be no do's and don'ts. Sorry, no free giveaway, but the ones that I owe y'all that, that gift card, that thing on the way, man, had a couple things I had to take care of, but I got y'all. Be, uh, best believe I'm gonna get y'all email and them things coming expeditiously, man. But once again, man, shout out to all of y'all for coming on the channel, man. Um, I'm gonna try to go live with y'all this weekend so we can sit there and we can talk some more. We can talk some more. Uh, we can talk some Doug over Carson Wentz versus Carson Wentz, whatever. We can bust it up. We can talk. Anybody want to come back? Come back on the channel. And you, and you think that I'm wrong? I am going to give you a chance to try to rebuttal everything that I say. It's going to be hard to do it. I gave people a chance uh, a couple of days ago. Ain't nobody want to come on. Well, people came on. Shout out to everybody. Come on. Ain't nobody want to come on to try to confront me on it. I'm giving people a chance. I'm being respectful. I'm going to be respectful. I ain't going to call nobody out their name or nothing. Come on. Come on down. Come on down, man. Shout out to all of y'all, though, man. Seriously, man. The love is real, man. You already know. Yo, that.